Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Jonah 1, a story we know from Sunday school. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah arose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind on the sea so that the ship was about to be broken up. Jonah hears from God, but he doesn't want to go to Nineveh, a world power of that day that is known for its violent and barbaric behavior. So Jonah flees in the opposite direction, and he chose the city of Tarshish. In 1 Kings 10, the king had a fleet of ships at Tarshish, bringing gold, silver, ivory, and peacocks. Nineveh was wicked and barbaric, but Tarshish was cultured and exotic. Nineveh meant hard work and much prayer. Tarshish was adventure. But as Jonah runs, God sends a storm into Jonah's life, and he loses control over his life as he's thrown overboard and swallowed by a great fish. And it's from the belly of the fish that Jonah begins to wrestle with God in prayer. Are you still running? Are you ignoring the storms God has sent into your life? Are you still running from God even when everything is out of control and it's chaos? What will it take for you to cry out to God in prayer and surrender to what He desires, what He has for your life? Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, in our lives, Lord, as it is in heaven. Lord, too many have drifted far from you, from your purpose for them. It has become easy to call yourself a Christian while living out your own desires and going on your own adventures and forgetting about God's will, your will, your purpose, your calling and gifts. It's dangerous prayer, but Lord, I'm asking today for whatever it takes to turn your drifting, wandering children back to you. Shine your light brightly in this present world and push back the darkness and let them see the wickedness the sin that so easily ensnares in your light start making their and in your light start making their way back to you back to your purpose back to your will back to your calling back to your spiritual gifts for them back to being the witness you've called all your children to be give us a spirit of unity that we may glorify you with one heart and one voice and one vision Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.